Can ChatGPT write articles or essays? Absolutely, yes. It can help with everything from brainstorming initial ideas, coming up with an outline, writing initial drafts, researching sources or quotes to incorporate in your essay or article, proofreading, editing, finding weaknesses like weak arguments that could be supported better, writing an introduction, writing a conclusion, writing an FAQ, writing different sections in your essay or article. So ChatGPT is an incredibly versatile tool when it comes to writing in, in particular, and you can absolutely use it for essays or articles. Let's say you're writing an essay about the book Crime and Punishment by Dostoevsky. Here's the prompt. I need to write an essay about crime and punishment. I want to explore how themes from the book intersect with social media use usage today. Brainstorm 10 ideas. Number one, guilt and confession in the digital age. That's interesting. Alienation and loneliness. The spectacle of crime. Moral dilemmas and ethics. The impact of public judgment. The power dynamics, etc., etc. In the span of 30 seconds or so, she has helped us brainstorm 10 different ideas exploring the intersection of a book and a theme we want to explore further. And what you can do from this point, if you don't like any of these ideas, you can ask for more ideas. You can ask ChatGPT to refine a particular idea. Let's say refine the first three ideas. Now ChatGPT is adding more context for the first three ideas. Let's say we want to explore them further before we choose the angle we want to go with. Now let's say we want to run with the first idea, guilt and confession in the digital age. Raskolnikov is consumed by guilt, leading to psychological struggle. Today, social media acts as a modern confessional where users express guilt or remorse. Let's run with that idea and use ChatGPT to help us create an initial outline. So here I just copy pasted a prompt that I typically use for SEO, optimized articles. If you don't know what that is, SEO just means making it easier for that particular article to come up in Google search results. So here I'm just going to put in the topic. I'm going to say idea number one. And this is a super long prompt, so just check my newsletter if you want to copy paste it. And now ChatGPT is going to help come up with an outline to further flesh out this key idea. So here's the detailed 2000 word article or essay outline, a title, an introduction, relevant stats, for example, percentage of social media users, and you can use ChatGPT to search the internet to find those stats. The nature of guilt in the digital world here. So this is a really useful outline to get started writing your essay. And that's one of my favorite use cases for ChatGPT is to get unstuck. It's an amazing brainstorming partner. It can draft outlines really quickly, brainstorm lots of ideas and different angles and points of view, research relevant statistics or interesting data points from the internet. So now we've got a 2000 word outline, SEO optimized, it even has an FAQ section and external links. And now that you have the outline, you can take the next step and use ChatGPT to write an initial draft. Let's say I like the outline, write the first draft of the essay. ChatGPT is going to take a stab at a first draft of the essay. And you can see it's kind of filling out the outline, right? The introduction was 200 words or so. This is the next section. This is the next section in the essay and so on and so on. So you can see it's pretty easy and straightforward to use ChatGPT to help you write essays or articles. But I do want to talk about some limitations and caveats. So one limitation is hallucinations. What that means is sometimes ChatGPT outputs information that isn't accurate, and that's called a hallucination. And so it's really important to fact check everything in the output to make sure it's accurate. And one trick that helps a lot with that is by using multiple AI models. So you can copy and paste this essay into a different model, such as Claude AI or Perplexity AI, and ask it to fact check everything in the essay or article. And point out anything that seems inconsistent or wrong. So watch out for hallucinations when writing. That's why it's really important to do a final review yourself. Another issue is obviously originality. Nowadays, many schools and colleges are using AI detectors to flag if you are just submitting AI-generated content, and not to mention all the positive benefits of the exercise of writing. Even though I studied technical subjects in college, writing has always been my passion and hobby. I remember in high school, I would sit there for two hours brainstorming the best way to phrase a sentence. My overall advice is to leverage ChatGPT to help you brainstorm ideas, create outlines, help find research, relevant quotes and statistics to include in your essay and article, help with the initial draft. But then I highly recommend you take things over from that point and write the essay or article 
people with your own unique point of view. And then once you've done that, you can use ChatGPT again to proofread, edit, look for grammar mistakes, look for weak arguments in your essay or article that could be further supported, etc. Now scrolling up a bit here, you can see the final essay that was written by AI. So just to recap in this video, we use ChatGPT to help brainstorm initial ideas for our essay or article, and then it created an SEO optimized outline for the essay or article, and then it went ahead and wrote a first draft of the essay or article using the outline it previously generated. And I recommend breaking down the process into those discrete steps, right? Like first brainstorming potential ideas and really go back and forth, like diving into one particular idea and seeing if you want to run with it Add your unique perspective question ChatGPT, have ChatGPT question you. Then we refined the ideas that we liked. Then we created an outline on the one idea that we wanted to run with. And then we had ChatGPT write the first draft. And so ChatGPT is a terrific tool to get unstuck, right? Because it helps you with every single step of the writing process. But like I said, I think the real magic happens when you make this yours and add your unique perspective and value to the topic.